Oh, ladies and gentlemen, bugs and bugs, potatoes of all ages, it is time for a stream. First time in a few days, but it's time for the Wizard of Oz. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all awesome. This is our main save, Football Manager 2023. We started this save with Adelaide United FC right here in my hometown of Adelaide. Uh, Australia we won a couple of trophies we had a great time and then we had an even better time in South Korea of all places with the mighty John Yam Dragons FC we won K-League 2, K-League 1, Korean FA Cup and the Asian Champions League we won everything we could possibly win job was done so off we went to Italy to try and recreate that success with Palermo FC and we couldn't uh, so we took another job in Germany with Arminia Bielefeld and we had a jolly good time there too. We got promoted to the Bundesliga. We won the UEFA Europa Conference League, two consecutive German Cup finals and a Europa League final. Amazing stuff. And now we find ourselves in England, the Premier League with Newcastle United. We're about to kick off our fourth season in England on our seemingly never ending quest mission for the save get to europe we've done that we want to win the european champions league can't do it this season because we're in the europa league that makes it difficult uh but what we can do is take a huge step towards that goal by uh either winning the europa league or qualifying for champions league or something anything it's all good how are we doing folks i'm wearing a beanie it's very cold here in adelaide it's good to have you all with us my voice sounds a bit weird and i don't know why uh it's very confusing uh, if you bear with me for just a second, I'm going to take my headphones off and run over there and grab my drink because I forgot to get it before I sat down and I'm parched. One second, kids. That's how we do it. Ah, awesome. So I've been through most of the summer. Uh, there's friendly going on tomorrow against our former club, Arminia Bielefeld. I set that up. It's been an interesting summer. We had a plan. That plan was not buying youngsters anymore uh, and just trying to bring in players who can change this team, offer a little bit of experience, proven winners, uh, successful players, older uh, and you know with a lot of skill uh, basically just trying to upgrade wherever possible uh, we've had a lot of if, uh, offers for this guy Peter Bruce I've actually brought him up into the first team because uh, he's just about ready he's not great but he's fine he can do a job and he helps with uh, Europa League compliance so let's have a look at what happens in this Armenia Bielefeld game. We're not playing it. Uh, it's friendly. And the ask man, the assistant manager, looks after all of these. But once we've got this result, I'll show you the new signings and all the business that's been done. Uh, we've had a couple of big moves out, which freed up a ridiculous amount of money. Money of which I haven't actually spent all of it. And we just got done by Armenia Bielefeld. Well, we were playing a uh, super young keeper in goal. Buster Isted uh, is a youngster. King Ki Seong scored a chip. Uh, he scored two. Wow. That's not ideal. <laughs> uh, it's not the squad that was suggested because that Buster guy isn't anywhere here. Um, if you want to know who he is, uh, and why he will never ever play for us after that. Here he is. He's a one and a half star, 23 year old goalkeeper who is nowhere near good enough and never will be. Uh, so, you know, that happened. It's preseason friendly. Who cares? Some guys got to run. Anyway, finance wise, look at this ridiculousness. 271 million pounds have been brought in just in the month of July, which is nearly over, we've spent 146 million. So, you know, we've spent some money 
But look at the balance for the club, 142 million. I've still got 92 million pounds of transfer budget remaining. True story. Uh, I also set all of the bonuses uh, for Premier League, Europa League and the cup competitions. I maxed them out. We were at 102 million. Up in those bonuses, took the transfer budget down to 92 million. We've still got spare wage budget. We're in a pretty damn good position. And uh, I've amazed myself with that, just quietly. Entirely unlike us uh, within this save to do that sort of busy. No pending transfers, no one's coming in, no one's going out. Uh, but let's have a look at what's been done. So if we switch to the end of last season, there's some spoilers there on that side of the page. I'm just going to... Oh, whoa, 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 don't do that. I want to move this over there so you can't see what's going on. Right. Transfers out. Let's go all the way down here. So these happened last January. Uh, Antonio Silva left. Yasser Espria left because they were upsetting me greatly. Uh, a bunch of loans and whatnot. Uh, and then we had some sales as well. If I can find them. When did we buy those? Oh, those transfers go through at that time. Anyway. Um, Okay, so Emily Vale left the club. Uh, he's gone to Chelsea. 46 and a half million pounds. It was crazy. But there he is. He's a Chelsea boy now. He's higher rated than he was here, um, which seems silly, but we know he's a three-star player. Um, uh, he was over 23. He had bags of potential, but he was never really going to realise that. Um, so... We moved him on. That is what we did. And then we made a few signs, but we'll skip back ahead uh, so you can see the other movements that have gone on. Lima left. Uh, right, so Miroslav Delabasic, he has gone to Barcelona for the priestly sum of 50 million. This guy was absolutely infuriating his whole time here. Um, he was never really good enough, and we should have known it when we signed him from Bayern. He was never really good enough at Arminia Bielefeld, um, where we first encountered him, even in that season. 33 games, a 6.78. Nope. Not the centre-back we needed. Uh, and we saw his errors constantly in the match engine. So he's gone. Louis Bailey is another one we had such high hopes for. It was a big money signing. 105 million pounds. We didn't get value for him on the sale, but he's off to Real Madrid. Uh, and again, two seasons here, a 6.83, a 6.88, only because he played less games. Not a huge contributor. Uh, and again, we should have known, based on his form with United, that he wasn't the guy. But I got sucked in. I got distracted by the pretty lights. That's what happened there. Gonzalo Uregi. Our backup goalkeeper is gone for 15 and a half million. Uh, he's buggered off to Feyenoord. So that's where he'll be playing his trade now. Uh, and also Albion Hosha, Hoxa, whatever you want to call him. He's Albanian, 28 years old. Um, again, he's another one. Didn't do super great for us. 17 matches played, 6.84. Some appearances off the bench. Just not good enough. He's had one good season at Freiburg. He already played one game. Uh, before he came here, so it was all very much skewed in that regard. Uh, yeah, so that's him out the door. My uh, my face cam seems a bit a bit jerky. Just gonna shrink it a little bit. Move it over there. Okay, and. Who else is gone? Uh, 15, 5, uh, Matthias Horak, our attacking midfielder. He has left the club. I'm just going to fiddle really quickly. Sorry, I'm, this is dumb. I thought I had all of this sorted. I'm just going to fiddle with my face cam settings a little bit. Because I'm not happy with them. And I should absolutely not be doing this on the fly. Uh, yeah, that's right. Do you wanna be what I 
try that in there. Ah, oh, let's reset the settings entirely. Brilliant. Let's just fix this up right quick and in a hurry. That'll do. I don't know why it's so jerky. Because it's not tracking well. I don't know. Let's leave it alone, eh? It's fine. Okay. So Horak, our attacking midfielder, he's gone. His value's gone right up because Milan are paying him crazy wages. But they came in with an offer, which is really good value. Uh, 50 million up to 63 with add-ons uh, and if you recall that's what we bought him for um, but he was kind of in the way so he could cover right wing he could help out in midfield he could play attacking midfield uh, but we've made some other additions to the squad which means we don't need him so I'll let him go Murray Solstein who has been a perpetual loanee since we arrived at the club he's gone to Celtic for 1.9 million uh, and that's about it sales-wise, but a whole heap of cash came in. Hoxha we got 30 million for, by the way, which I think is a cracking piece of business because clubs were offering us about five to seven million for him. We did all right. The new additions to the squad. We'll start over this side. Yeah, put the face back where it belongs. Yeah, we've been off the ticker too. That'll do nicely. Uh, are there any other settings I can fiddle with while we're live? Yes. There we go. I'm just turning my bit right down a little bit. Maybe that'll help. If it makes everything sucky. I apologize profusely. I'm also going to close Chrome, which is a resource hog. I'm going to close Explorer. Okay, and now my CPU seems happier. So, buddy, it's just doing those things. It's been a little bit nuts. All right, cool. So, new signings. Uh, Lima came in and went out like the next day. Eddie Sergio was last season. Blah 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 blah. Where are the new boys? Uh, Fabio Lenny. Right. So the first signing I made in the summer was this guy. Rogerio Parente, uh, he's a star player in his prime years, he's 29 years old, he's a left winger, he can cover at striker if he needs to. He's coming to play on the left wing, basically mentor Boyd Byrne uh, and be our first choice. He's got plenty of experience, played 295 games for Napoli in Serie A, scored 115 goals. And if you look at his history, this guy has been awesome. He played one of the best seasons of his life last season, 13 goals, over 20 goal contributions uh, in Syria alone. Uh, 21, 32 goal contributions in all competitions. He went to the World Cup as well. Um, yeah, this guy is looking awesome. Uh, I'm very happy with that signing and it makes me happy. He's a worldwide superstar, he's going to boost shirt sales. Uh, as a winger, he's almost got that perfect love heart kind of shape. Not as good in, uh, in the air as we might like, but there's something about him. I think he's going to help us out. I'm excited. That is Rogerio Parente. Roger, for sure, that'll do. Other signings, uh, an ancient Pedri. He's 35 years old. He can play midfield, he can cover attacking mid, he can help us out of the wings if he needs to, he can play striker in a pinch. So incredibly versatile. Another one who's a global superstar. He's got absolutely no pace, but he's got an attacking, technically very uh, able, uh, mentally his physical is on the decline, but his vision's great. Um, and again, he's another one, he's 35 years old, he has never averaged under a seven for Barcelona throughout his career. Another one who had a really good season last campaign, even at the age of 35. I know I said I wasn't going to do the old men anymore. That one I couldn't resist, uh, mostly because it was only 10 million. Every other attacking midfielder we were looking at, we're talking 
upwards of 60, probably close to 100 million pounds to bring in anybody else of his calibre. Uh, Barcelona didn't want him anymore. He has won a bunch of stuff. Uh, European Championship, he's won La Liga, the Nations League. Um, let's do, what else have we got? Supercoppers, all sorts of stuff. 17 competition wins throughout his career and a whole bunch of awards. He is a superstar, he is a legend, uh, and he is ours. Dwayne Harrowwood is not a legend or a superstar. He's a backup goalkeeper that we had to spend too much money on. Uh, five million, nine million with add-ons. The add-ons are if he plays like 50 games for the club, we're never paying that money, which is why I set the deal up that way. But he's in. Maurice Hreen is a youngster who the director of football brought in and I didn't care. Uh, David Aronica is a right back that I purchased for cheap. Yes, cheap. Under 23, 12 and a half million quid. He's gone back on loan uh, to Atalanta on a loan back. That's the wrong dude. Um, but he's still got bags of potential. Um, he's basically coming in as cover. He was young, he was cheap, an extra body who could play centre back and play centre back. But he's not here this season. We may never see him play, but there it is. So because he went out on loan, the director of football put in an offer for this guy, and I just let it happen. His name is Elder. He's Brazilian. Um, he's decent enough. He's about on a par with uh, Bart Koviak, who we had back in the day, but he can play right across the back line uh, and cover all those positions and help us out. Um, History-wise, again, he's done fine. Last four seasons in Brazil, never averaged under a seven. That'll do me, I've got no issues with it. This guy, five and a bit million for an 18 year old who looks as good um, as any striker we've had throughout the save. Uh, he can only get better because he's 18. He arrives next month, like early next month. He's coming straight into the first team or we'll alternate with uh, Terry Osborne. May take Terry Osborne's place. They've both got bags of potential. This dude might go out on loan as well to an English club so he stays in the country. But at 18 years old, I mean, this kid, again, averaging a seven, uh, 20 games, four goals, three assists, two man of the match awards. I mean, yeah, he's playing in Chile, but he could be something special. And for five million, worth a crack. The fact that he signed for us means that his value is already shot through the roof. He's up at 36 to 43 million. We can turn a proper for though. I'm fine with that. Shane Fitzpatrick is an England international uh, coming in to cover us at right back uh, apprentice, maybe take over for Panicardis if he sucks, but he's got bags of potential, can get better. Uh, he's quick, he's rubbish in the air, but he can do all the things. And that's it. That's all the transfer business that we have done. There's one other guy that I've been going backwards and forwards on putting a bid in for all freaking summer. And I don't think I'm gonna pull the trigger. We're gonna wait and see what happens. Um, when or if we get around to January, you can see I actually looked at attributes, was looking for leaders. Couldn't find anybody who fit the bill. So I gave up on that. Um, dude I've been looking at is a center back. We looked at him last season as well. He's fallen down the pecking order through the filters and everything. Um, this guy's just popped up. Valerio Green. But I don't think he's ever won anything. And his averages suck. It's all I've been looking at. Is are they averaging over a seven? And have they won any trophies before? That's been the main criteria that I've been using. I did put in a few bids for this guy. He's not for sale. Uh, 150 million is where I topped out bids wise. We'd have to go over 200 to get him, so I gave up on that. Uh, but the dude I've been looking at is this guy. Sorry, the uh, Bikley. Bikley. Nobody knows. He's had a pretty good run um, over the last few years, riding over a seven, playing at Borussia Dortmund, who we know are pretty good from our time over in Germany. Uh, but he's never won anything. And for 68 million, yeah. Uh, Omer Gernin's another one for 60 million. Never won anything. We need to get players from Arsenal who have won a title or won some other competitions or United, and we don't have the money to compete with them. Yet, part of the plan is not to spend that money if we can avoid it, 
uh, the 140 million the club have got is going to get drained as we go through the season through wages and everything else. We know this. Um, but at the end of this season, the stadium expansion is scheduled. We need money in the bank to make that happen. Um, and playing in Europa League. We made a Europa League final with our mini Bielefeld, which is a much weaker squad than this. We've got to be with a shout of winning the bloody thing. Uh, and that's extra cash. So plan is finish the season with as much money as possible. Hopefully win the Europa League. Maybe pick up a cup. Um, improve our performance in the league. And see how we go. That is the plan. That is all our transfers. And now I'll say hi to Lucas. is in the chat and dropping messages that I've ignored. Because I've been talking about transfers and stuff. Apologies sir. Uh, Heat Nuggets are both up 3-0. Yeah. Hurricanes Panthers game 1 went to 4th overtime. Yikes. The Shatua has back back overtime winners. Golden Knights. Golden Knights. They're not even a real thing. Yeah, I gotta fix where my face goes. Battle D. Hey, Fraggle God! Hello, hello, hello. Welcome along. We are gonna limp. Uh, playing some continued manager. I gotta fix training because we don't have any go karts or anything set up. Um, we're just gonna go through right now and play our first game of the season against Manchester City who ruined our run last season I'm pretty sure if we go and have a look back to the last few games was it there yep that game we lost against City which is one of the very rare occasions I have dropped a highly audible f-bomb on the stream that happened. And that's part of the reason we've had a couple of days off. Probably like, what, three, four days off? Since the end of last season on the stream. Because I did not have a good time. Oh yeah, it's probably gonna move. Ugh. Stop moving teams. America's dumb. Also, we lost pre-season friendly to our former club. Uh, love it. Apparently we're chasing this guy, Ostrowski, 69 to 81 million, he plays a position I've got well and truly covered. And then the director of, fo director of football goes and puts in a bid for this clown. Uh, withdraw that transfer offer, I don't want him. Bad hockey team does it probably won't work. I mean, you've cracked the code, Lucas. Call the president of ice hockey immediately and inform them accordingly because obviously nobody on their end has that level of understanding. <laughs> Cheers everybody. So what I'm hoping, if you're a long time viewer of the stream and you've been through all the ups and downs, uh, I've made some tweaks. Uh, I think I spoke about it a little bit in Discord or maybe I was messaging someone at work and talking about it. I don't remember. Um, I was watching a stream back and it looked horrible and I wasn't happy with it. And I noticed that the audio was well and truly out of sync with the video in terms of me talking and then stuff on screen happening a few seconds later. Turns out, somehow, probably through drunken misclicks, uh, I set a 275 millisecond delay on my microphone, which I didn't need. So that's gone, hopefully, as I'm talking, my mouse moving at the same time the sound's coming out. If it's not, do me a subtle and let me know. Um, ugh, excuse me. We're also putting match reviews in after every single game. That's the thing we're doing again. We're going back to what was working when we won a bunch of stuff. <laughs> because, you know, desperation, it's a thing. Give me those match tactics. Yes. Uh, so yes, I did that. And the other thing we did. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep those guys as our leadership team. Beautiful stuff. Uh, the other thing I did is my whole stream was set up in OBS. If you know anything about streaming, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't use OBS or don't have any idea about what goes on in the back end of streaming, uh, go get a drink, take a walk. This is going to be boring as hell for you. Um, for some reason I'd set everything up 
thinking I was doing myself a favor with a 720p stage or resolution in OBS because that's what I was going to broadcast at. But I play the game in 1080p. So instead of downscaling and encoding everything properly, basically I was taking the 1080p video capture and shrinking that to 720p. Surprise, surprise, everything looked blocky and shrunken and dumb. You're a full bat. Worth over a hundred million pounds. You play left bat. That's tempting. If things go poorly, uh, Victor Valencia, we'll be back for you in January, my friend. Maybe, if we've got the money. There's Brian Cunningham. I had a look at him as well. He's quite expensive. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, resolution. So, that was my bet. And it doesn't help that I'm checking all of this using OBS and the screen or the uh, preview. Which is always crap anyway, because it's trying to render in real time while it's outputting in real time. It's very confusing. Um, so... I went through and resized all my assets and everything else and set it up as a 1080p build for the stream, downscaling through the encoder, which I avoided originally because I was trying to do everything, game and OBS, through one ancient computer. It didn't go well, um, which is why I now own three computers and use two of them exclusively for streaming, and the other one is sitting down the hallway. Stop putting in offers for my lad. I need him for Europa League registration. Bugger off. At least until January. Um, so yeah, so now it's all running 1080p downscale to 720p. Uh, my newer machine is able to handle the encoding without too much strain. Um, uh, I'll tell you what it doesn't like, it, my computer does not like running Google Chrome at the same time as it's doing video encoding. Um, stop this. I don't want another attacking midfielder. If it all goes pear-shaped, I'll play with two strikers. That's the deal. Um, yeah, so hopefully you'll be able to see some sort of difference in quality in the match engine or just in the screens in general. Things might be a bit more readable. Uh, if you're watching it on a phone or a smaller screen, it probably won't make a lick of difference. But I noticed, uh, I, I did some recordings and stuff and was streaming them to my big TV because that's how I watch most of my content. Um, uh, it looked heaps better, way less blocky and awful. I mean, that's almost perfect, but you're rubbish in the air, mate. Still, it's a very good scout report. Good for him. <sighs> so that's what I've been up to for like the last 48 hours, besides work, is messing around in OBS and fixing all my stream assets and things. Uh, in my heart, they move to Atlanta and become the Thrashers. In my brain, they move to Houston. Yeah, it'll be some other desert town where they wind up because you know it we all know it Lenny Van Gogh I haven't set to the line up anyway that's fine so yeah I'm not sure what's going to happen when it's got to render all this stuff uh, in real time, or encode it, I should say, live on a stream, because I haven't played any matches. I have been running like match replays and stuff through the match engine into it to see how it responds, and it seemed to be okay. We're gonna find out in a minute against Manchester City. What better time than live in front of other human beings on the internet where it's recorded forever? Try something out. It's the worst that could happen. Uh, yes, you suggest the squad. I'll go fix up my bench in a minute. 700th game in management. Oh. There's all our stuff. Look at it. Manager of the year. 
in the A-League. Manager of the Year in K-League 2. Korean FA Cup, Best Manager twice. We only won it once. Uh, K-League 1, Manager of the Year twice. We only won the league once. And uh, we got a Bundesliga Manager of the Year as well. That's written like in German, which is why it's hard to read. That's what you say can to remember that's what happened. Charlie Biker, it's pulled his groin. Sprinting will now try to avoid using his weaker foot, which is nice. Reeve Phillipson is another youngster who's been called up to the first team. He can play on the wings, he can help us out up front. He's not great. Uh, he's probably never going to be great. But he had a good season last year for Sevilla in La Liga. And I thought, well, if you're doing the jobs there, and we had Vale playing for us all last season, when he wasn't broken, then eh, why the hell not? Uh, let's fix up this bench. Right back, left back. Uh, I don't have a spare centre back. Felix Wolf can cover there in a pinch, I believe. Oh, no, that's right. It was Hoxha who could do that. Okay, so we need another centre back. You know what? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Brucey in there. He's gonna be he's gonna be great. Don't even worry about it. Actually, Elder can cover centre back. Yeah, that's what we bought you for. And can Fitzpatrick play there? No. Sort of, but he doesn't really want him. Okay, that's fine. Brucey next time. But those youngsters, it's all about cup competitions. That's what's going to be going on there. Uh, Osborne, oh, we do have a spare centre back. His name is Cristiano Nunez. Remember Nunez? He's back. He's had a couple of good seasons out on loan. He hasn't been pulling up stumps, but he's got a bunch of experience playing for Burnley down the championship, had a good season, or decent season in the Bundesliga. He's no worse than anyone else we've got, but he's young, uh, he's only 21, he's got bags of potential. He went to the World Cup as well, so booey for him. Uh, but we'll keep him up here in the midfield slot, and we've held it back down there, because he's the other centre back cover. We've got a midfielder, a right winger, left winger, a striker, I could deal with another midfielder in this squad. Take Wolf out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's looking decent. That's our team. Guess yeah. What do you want to actually do? Nobody knows. Why have I got an advanced play? Box to box. I like it. It's getting on. It's 28, but meh. Um, so you can see, or at least I hope you can see, we've upgraded everywhere. For the most part. We've still got like Sergio, he's not four star. Delacorte's got a ways to go, but he's only 21. Osborne, he's only 21. Um, and some other guys who still need to develop, but everyone else is. I think we've got some quality, we've got some guys who've won some trophies, a couple of world-class signings. If we can finish higher than we did last season, I'll be happy. 20 tier save continues to progress well. Over halfway, nice. Through the 13th tier, good lord. It's an absolute mission. It's a Uh, who's going to win the title? No comment, because I don't know how good this team is yet. We've got no real indication. Sadly, we're away on the first game of the season. The City. We uh, traditionally don't do great away from home. Who are you? What do you do? You're an, another attacking midfielder. 
Chelsea play United on the first day, United should smash them. United squad, I had a look at it a few times uh, while I was working my way through the summer transfers and it's ridiculous. They won the Champions League last season. How they have not won the league is beyond me. Again, reminder, Manchester United in Football Manager have not won the Premier League in this save. We're in the year 2038. Crazy, and they just got absolutely destroyed by Chelsea. Football League is upside down. United at the bottom of the table. Good. He says FM isn't realistic. Exactly. Speaking of which, United played Chelsea this week. Second last game of the season. If we can beat Chelsea. Guarantee Champions League football. Right. Polite reminder of their expectations. Win the Europa League. Qualify for Europa League. Last of stages of the FA Cup. We know what that means after last season. Make it to a semi-final. And just show up in the Carabao Cup. Don't embarrass yourselves. So, we've got that covered. Why? I've got four of them. No! Cambridge? No. No. Reject offer. Stop trying to buy him. A couple of guys want to win a cup. We don't have to worry about Alfie Dorrington appearing in 10 games this season. Uh, Pedri probably will. I believe it's a contract, a uh, one year extension for Pedri if he makes 15 appearances. He's likely to make 15 appearances for us. But because he's 35, I thought I'll take that clause because if he gets injured a lot, maybe he doesn't make 15 games and we get out of it for cheap. Who are you? Pedri replacement. All right, let's go play our first game of the season. Uh, no, we're not going cautious. Yes, do that. Everything else stays the same. I've already got my set piece takers set up. Penalties set. Everything should be good to go. And our preseason got all messed up. We went to China and uh, two teams turned down the preseason friendlies. And the old uh, assistant manager didn't really schedule anything new, so the preseason hasn't been ideal. We won a bunch of games. The match against I many Bielefeld is the only one we lost, which it's me. It, it amuses me greatly. I wish it hadn't happened right before the first game of the season, but it did. It is what it is. Let's go and play Manchester City right freaking now. Encourage the lads because we're away from home. And uh, let's see what our new look squad can do. I'm hoping we can score a goal. I'm hoping Parente can provide some good service to Hosh. That's not him because he plays on the other side. But Also because he's got at headers, he's got good jumping reach and because he's good in the air, I've made Hosh basically the target for corners from both sides. One near post, one far post. Bogdan's claimed a football without conceding a goal. Positive signs early on in season 2038-39 of the save. It's becoming a, whoa, a pretty massive saga. That was great. Uh, who was that? Who are you? Petrosco. Come on, man. You know better than that. We might be buying a centre back before the end of this stream. Because I can do without that kind of craziness. That's why we sold Delabasic. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's rubbish. What do you got your arms out for, Panicata? So was your man. You weren't marking. 
and Cole. And Fogden. Great them. Come on, guys. I'm positive. I hate changing stuff, but we've had way more possession and way less shots. Okay. I need to make something happen. Hosh is on 6.4, which isn't great. But, you know, we've seen him turn those kind of performances right around. Here's Patino bursting in. And there's Rogerio Parente. First goal of the new season. He has equalised for us, which is delicious. And we get to play trumpets for the first time. Also, I'm hoping the guys rocking out there look a little bit better nowadays. I made some tweaks. Lovely goal from Parente. That's what we bought him for. And he has delivered. Got the equaliser. Now he needs to go on with it. That's poor from Pedri to be dispossessed there. Just about getting away with it. Parente, that's a hospital pass to Gil. Oh, weird, lucky there. Come on, guys. Why are they suddenly so up for it? Stupid manager AI's kicked in and they're doing stuff. I don't care for it. That was a good looking ball if Hosh was awake. Alas, he was not. But Patino just cut that out. Hoss has got the ball now. Plays it through. Finds Parente, the left winger. Target, but didn't really test the keeper enough there. Pedro Seuss has not really shown up on this right hand side. And Petroske is having a nightmare of a time at centre back. And he's been hamstrung somewhat by his yellow card. Santiano is also on a yellow card, but likewise amazingly, playing well, which we didn't see a lot of in his first season with the club, but we're hoping now he's better in. Oh, that's, ooh, Parente, half chance. Uh, all right, we need to make a couple of changes. Gil is spent, Juliano comes on for him. That is a no-brainer. Um, Patino is also done. I'm going to have to drop Nunez in there, which is an ideal. He did one playmaker on defend, and Werner is going to come on. You know what? Yeah. That'll do for now, and when it comes to Mr. Hosh, one more. Ah! What the hell? We've given him a game, but we should be miles better than City. Well, honestly, it's not good enough. Bring on Della Corte. Pedri and just see if we can get something going. Going for it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Surely me clicking attacking happened before, like, I mean, after this highlight began, so we're not going to concede. Yes. Now let's go get a goal. Let's get the winner. I'm ready to change it back. Put it on Hosh's head and get him off his 6.3. Damn it. 
He's had a poor game, and Petrosco's had a poor game. A boring draw. But you know what? It's a point away from home on the first day of the season. I'm not happy with your performance. I'm not happy with your performance. Everyone else was kind of fine. Anyone who's green gets a pat on the head. We didn't set the world on fire, but we've got guys who are still learning the language, which despite it being a problem I was trying to avoid, we have. Um, and we were toothless in front of girl. None of you get the day off. You all annoy me. We're not going to find anybody yet. I am going to criticise us this last game. And Petrosco. I'm going to have a chat because the 6.5% of back is not up to snuff. Keep the morale up. Don't even say okay. Don't even say excellent. See? Excellent. So we've got a good squad. Not too many people are cranky or upset. Next home game against Crystal Palace. Who were nigh on invincible last season. Out of nowhere. In fact, we're going to tempt fate. We've sold 200 more season tickets. Well, that only cost me like 100 mil to produce that. Good investment, DP. Well done. Uh, it wasn't QPR, it's was Crystal Palace. That's what I'm talking about. General. Right. So we're sixth in the championship. Second in the championship, got promoted. And then last season, they finished in fifth. They were like in the top three for most of last season. It was crazy. It's basically what we did. Uh, if I remember correctly, over at Sean Yam. It's good times. So they've got some good players. That's for sure. But we need to do our stuff. And hopefully, all that lovely video from the match engine looks good. Du -du -du -du. All the things for the morales. Let us go, said the vegetable patch. I don't know. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. Plague Brinley on target for Stoke. This kid is out on loan again. Look at all that yummy, yummy potential. He did this last season though, he started off strong, scored a bunch of goals, and then went, just went missing. And I criticised him a couple of times. I rarely pay attention to players when they're out on loan, out of sight, out of mind. If you're not here at the club, you don't exist. Um, but because of his potential, um, I had a couple of chats with him through the season. I was just like, wait, I'm not happy with your form. Put your socks up. Sit up straight. Shave those sideburns. No. We're the favourites. Man City are chasing a deal for Hosh. You're going to have to do a lot better than 83 million. And hang on, he just signed a new contract, so you can all bugger off. Oh, we've got 29 grand because this guy, who I binned off, got sold again. Good to know. Okay. Ah, 
Jackson, so to move on to Cambridge, off he goes, for no money, oh. Shola Amiobi, you're an idiot, you're the loan manager, stop loaning players free, get paid sir, how's money looking, club hasn't raided our budget yet, we've already dropped 20 million since the start of the stream, so you know, that's a thing. It's not good. It's what happens when you spend five million pounds a week on wages, I guess. We're expected to win. I don't know why we're expected to win. Palace were a better team than us all last season. Reject offer. That, they're not changing their offer. I'm literally rejecting the same thing every time. Get it through your head. I'm not selling him. You idiots. We are going to have to buy another centre back because I'm legitimately recognising with the exit of Delabasic and Hoxha. We are short one. And I guess this is why I kept Nunez around. I've just got to back him. I'm gonna play Juliani. I'm gonna start Nunez. That's why you're here, champ. Not, not right now, we're going to start Petrosco, but when it's time to make a sub at centre back, Nunez is coming on. We're going to back him. I believe in him. We, we don't have to spend £100 million on a centre back right now. First home game of the season, we got a highlight from the kickoff, which could mean anything, something really good. It could mean we're about to do something super dumb and get dunked on by Palace. And then looking like they were gonna make an interception there is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. Win the football, it's Juliano to Petrosco. Sprinting up to Juliano, plays it over the top. Looking for Pedro Souza, who was one of the standouts last season. It's quiet in that first match. Patino is turning everybody inside out. Over to Panicardis into Souza. Coughed it up. And now Palace are looking to break. And Petrosco is about to get himself sent off. Or a yellow card. Yellow card. Whole bunch of stuff happened there, but zero reward. Here's Souza with the corner. Hoss is in! Pedro Hoss has got his first goal of the season. Start of the season is great because we get to do all the things with trumpets and we get so many firsts. It's fun! But Hoss, that's why we're aiming for him at corners. That's why he exists. He's off the mark. Long may it continue. Parente bursting into the area has had his shot blocked and won us a corner. Which is nice. Sousa again. Aiming for Hosh's head at the near post. Finds the head of Patino instead. He heads it wide. That's why we don't aim for Patino at corners, we aim for Hosh. What have we learned, gentlemen? What have we learned? Alice here trying to play it out from the back. We're trying to put a little bit of pressure on them. They're just passing around us like we aren't really there. And I'd love for us to make an interception right about now. That'd be really cool if we could do that. Dude had the legs on us. And there was a iffy looking late tackle. Uh, I'm gonna demand more. We're one nil up, all the pressure. Come on gents. Why? 
Tyler's getting so much of the football. This is not the deal. This is more like it. Just pass it around. Coutinho. He probably could have waited there. Are we working the ball in the box? We are. It's been floated. So we should be aiming for Hosh. I tried to demand more and they hated that. So I'm just going to praise him because we won a lot. They still don't care. Nobody cares. But we are definitely winning at the moment. So let's not screw it up, guys. Let's get another goal before half time. And really give Palace something to worry about and get angry about. It's good overlap work for Panicardis. Pugliano's done well. Sent Yana not so much, but that was better. So maybe I'll shut my mouth. Let's want it back. Petrosco now bursting out of defence. Plays it over the top, looking for Parente. No joy. Pass have it back in their own half. They launch it long. Again, Panicardis heads it down to Juliano. Over to Patino. who is mobbed by three players. We played Hosh three. He's on side. Surely. That's the second of the game. The flag is down. No hint of offside. He's doing a he's doing a jig. He was doing a jig in the corner. He's getting he's getting jiggy with it. That's what he was doing. Yeah, I said it. He's got one on the head, one on his right foot. So he's gone with his left now. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a left foot. So I mean he's got one, but he can't really kick the ball with it. There's something that's missing from FM. Where's the uh, this Billy representation, eh? I guess Tottenham are in the game. <laughs> that was harsh. All right, Tino up to Hosh, who just passed it to his imaginary friend, and his imaginary friend was not there to receive it. This guy, Terry Gillum, has smashed it at the crossbar, it has bounced off and then fogged and it has made it look like he knew that was going to happen and felt overly dramatic with the claim. I am pleased with the number of shots so far. Keep it up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All the green. Now, I'm pretty sure the first time we played, played GPR last season, they ruined us. Poss just got absolutely sandwiched there. And the ref didn't blow a damn thing. And their striker was through on goal, but couldn't get an effective shot away. And Mr. Fogden, World Cup winner in the summer with England, Made the save. That's a good ball in. Look for Hosh. He's hit the crossbar with his noggin. Well, he hit the ball with his noggin. And then the ball hit the crossbar. That is the sequence of events that happened. It's this James guy again with his headband. That's the real problem I've got with Palace in this universe. That guy's headband. It's very distracting. It's a good ball over top for Hosh. He scored it with his right. He hasn't done it with his left. But that is goal. I don't care if you're going to have a look at the offside ref. I am calling it. That's a freaking goal. Yeah! Hat trick for Hosh! Get the trumpet out! First hat trick of the season. Here's hoping it won't be the last. Hosh was on the list of uh, players' tips for top goal scorer yet again. Didn't even get close last season. He was off the boil for a long time. A couple of times through the season. Um, so again, part of the reason of bringing in uh, Parente and Pedri, try to get him uh, some better service up front. We're just going to wait until this highlight's ended for me to drop the praise on the lads because I, I don't trust them. Because <laughs> you know, if I click it now during the highlight, they're going to take the ball, go up the other end and score it, and all the players are going to think, oh, boss like that, let's do it again. 
It used to happen all the time in Football Manager. I don't know if it's still a thing, but just in case, let's not tempt fate. Uh, that was Patinho blasting the ball, high, wide, and handsome. Let's get the ball on Hosh's head for his fourth. Nope. Sprinter claims he's got some help behind him. I like just fades away. We just have to make a couple of subs. Santiana's coming off. We'll have a look at new boy Elder. Coutinho is tied. Gil will come on for him. And we're going to swap these lads over. You are not going to be that. You are going to be Amazala. Um... Brente's not had a great day, so I'm going to throw Burner on. Pedri has had a good game, but he's tiring, so I'm going to throw on Delacorte again, because I want him getting game time at the highest possible level. Hosh is in again. Uh, he's just a little bit too uh, lackadaisical there. Disappointing. Praise lads. I realise now I've done again as a highlight again. Delacorte over to Gil. He's out of touch. He's got his eye in. It's all happening. Hey, Alan's in. Hey, Alan. How you doing, champ? I'm glad you save. He's doing well. Ours is. Uh, let's just hope this season goes better than last. That's all I'm going to say. Burner now. First real input from him we've seen. It was a good pass. Playing Hosh in over the top. That was on his left. The flag is up. If that had gone in, that would have been his perfect hat-trick, even though he's already got one. Well, he doesn't already have a perfect hat-trick, but he's already got a hat You know what I'm talking about. Stop being so judgy, people. Uh, I'm going to play you. You can't really... Yeah, attacking midfield is fine. But being on the tap... I want you trying to get further forward. Drop more praise. We've been all over him. 61% possession, 16 shots, 50% on target. Massive XG. This is a much better performance. There I am in my freaking sexy as white suit. I know you all love it. That's why you're all here. Uh, defenders, if you defended well, I'm happy. Uh, individuals, Kosh, uh, you dominated that match. You were brilliant. Gil, you were good off the bench. Pugliano, you were good. Patino, you were good. Sousa, uh, you were good. And Pedri was good with a 7.7. .7. So brought in for Parente, not so much. He seemed to get a little bit isolated on that left hand side, which is going to happen because Sousa was lighting it up over on the right. And even Hosh's goals, he seemed to have more joy on that side of the pitch. So it makes sense. I'll allow it. A win and a draw to kick off. Elders made his debut. Good for him. We're all happy for him. Everybody shout him a beer. Actually, don't shout him a beer. We just started the season. Shout him a water. He can have a water. Hosh is boosted by his managerial support, as he bloody well should be. Three days until Norwich, you've won a game, you can all have a day off. Training, rest, one day. There we go. Who have we got? Norwich. Who are a bit rubbish, but aren't as rubbish as they could be, so we're not going to take it too lightly. So with those three goals, Hoss has got himself back in the position of more goals and games. We know he didn't have a great first match against City at all. In fact, he was poor. But look at these dynamics, will ya? I don't know what to do about the cohesion. The hierarchy sorted itself out. So uh, Bakayo Saka, who was here, was part of the team leaders group. He left the club in the summer. His contract came to an end. I was trying to offer him a staff role. He really wasn't interested. He got grumpy about it. Uh, so our team leaders now, Patino, Hosh, and Panacardis, followed by Fogden, Petrosco, uh, Parente slotted trading there, Sprinzing, 
Sisa, Santiana, and Gil. So these are guys who have probably got the most experience besides Pedri. Um, it it kind of makes sense. And the rest of the new faces and the youngsters or the outliers like Donington, who's never going to play. Um, social groups are forming. Again, the two newest additions with Patrick and Harold were the, the biggest outliers there. Um, happiness wise, Santiana's worried about his playing time, he doesn't need to be. Boyd Werner thinks he needs a new contract, which he absolutely doesn't yet. Uh, Ryu Phillipson, fresh from the Street Fighter tournament, um, wants more playing time. Uh, he will get playing time if or when he pops up on the top trainer report. Or if he has a really good rating playing for the under 21s, that's how he breaks into the team. He needs to turn my head. He needs to make me notice him. Who is this guy? I don't know who you are. Did I buy you? I think I did put in an offer for this guy because he was cheap as. I can't remember why. Eh? Eh? He's a kid. We're going to play with the kids team. It's going to be fine. Or is he slotted straight in here? No, he hasn't. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Look at all the green. Ah, oh, it's a king of beauty. Also, so glad that I've finally remembered to go and dig up the... Hey, show me the last match rating. In my squad screen. I wasn't even sure it existed, but I'm glad it does. No. We're going to face Norwich, who are slight underdogs, but again, playing away from home. How's the schedule looking? How much more of January have we got? January? It's friggin' August, DP. What the hell are you talking about, champ? Oh, we've got a bunch of games to play. Alright, fair enough. It's almost 10 o'clock. I must have talked for ages about the transfers. Apologies, folks. We might not get through August tonight. We might pick it up. The muzzle. I'm getting tired. I know I started late tonight. Because uh, I got distracted watching Parks and Rec. <laughs> uh, also found... I didn't find it. I've been around for a while. Um, one of my streaming service thingies, uh, they've got the later, newer series of Red Dwarf, which I've never watched. I watched the Back to Earth thing years ago when it came out and was incredibly underwhelmed. So I didn't hold out high hopes and then I was watching some of the new stuff and I was like, this feels like old school Dwarf and uh, it made me laugh out loud a couple of times. So I was watching that last night, it was good fun. Never seen Red Dwarf and you don't know what I'm talking about? Remove yourself from the stream and go watch Red Dwarf. And this is coming from me, an affiliate. Not that I care, because I'm not here to make money. I'm just saying, don't sit here giving Amazon your money watching this nonsense. The VOD will be up as soon as the stream ends. Watch the VOD, it doesn't matter. Um, go watch Red Dwarf instead. It's, it's great. From season one, I can't even suggest to you, like, ah. Oh, Starting to start here and watch these episodes and start with episode one, work your way through the continuity, none of it matters. The show's ridiculous, it's fun as hell. I highly recommend it. Where are Norfitch in the league? They're in ninth. Alright, so we're not gonna chance it, we're gonna play this first team. Again. 
because it ain't broke, so we're not going to fix it. Defenders, I've got faith, I've got faith, I've got crowd, blah blah blah. Wrong chain talk, oh, I should have said, more of the same. Anyway, let's get her done, gentlemen. Alright, we've got some possession going on. They picked up a yellow card. I like, I like. No, don't like this at all. There we go, Cesar on the break. Finds Juliano. He's given it away, super cheap. Sprinting's done well to cut out some of the danger, but we have not cleared our line. Oh, Bogdan, he's made two good saves in that last game, and then that was really poor. What are you even for? This guy won a World Cup. There's no one blocking him. All he's got to do is catch that, get his big fat head in the way. Great them. What the hell are you doing, you clowns? Alright, well now we've got to go positive, because we're chasing the game. I'm going to turn that off. Almost a good ball to Pedri. Bit of a hospital pass. Coutinho finds Pedri up to Hoss. He's got some help. Around the corner to Sousa. Slots it in. That was lovely. There's no way it's offside. It's gone down as a no goal. Let's sign up whoever that guy is. Bruni. What a strike. It wasn't. It's pretty harsh to call that an Oni, by the way. It was a decent shot from Sousa. That, I mean, that's going in anyway. He's behind the keeper, so the keeper's already missed it. That's really harsh on him. I feel bad for the D. Poor Bruni. But, yay us. One all. Much better. I'm leaving it on positive. Maybe that's the way forward. Maybe this squad can handle it a bit better than last season's did. That's a good ball. Looking for Harris. Just, I don't know. Not quite as quick as he was. Still not fully fit, maybe. I'm not sure. But that sort of thing, that was his bread and butter two seasons ago. A ball like that, floated over the top into the area. Good run for Parente. He didn't score it. Shot was ordinary. But the run, the run was nice. Win that. No! Oh. I thought Fog would let that go again. I hate this song, Epidemic Sound. Remove it from your catalogue. Pretty please. I just don't like it. It's full of F-bombs for no reason. Rente, go. You're a champion. He's done well there. So you said don't... Had more shots, but we've got a worse XG. And that guy's annoying me. How are they just jogging past everybody? Thought we'd given away a pen there. Can we stop letting them saunter in like that, gentlemen? like all this stuff is because we're too focused on going forward. Soliano, at Centignana. It's a good ball. Brente sort of had a shot there. I think he was trying to lay it back to the onrushing midfielder. It didn't really come off. I don't like what I just saw from this team. Defenders. Midfielders. Do the thing. Drop and encourage, we've dropped it back to balance, try and shore things up a little bit. So, as usual, your instructions, lads, don't do anything dumb or stupid.
I mean, that is like a half chance at best. It was a bit of a dog's breakfast, the way that all came out. And now they're going to run at us. I mean, why have you guys not turned on the afterburner to win this ball? And now they've got it back. It was 2 on 1 there. And you conceded a goal. You freaking morons. Now we've got to go back to positive. There were three of them around one dude. He skipped away. Played this over the top. And that's on Fogden, again, at his near post. Seuss has not shown up. Get off then. Four changes, boom. We're going attacking. Oh my god! It's happening again. I don't want to watch your filthy replay. With three one down out of nowhere just two complete brain farts and fogden being horrible on any given day you never know when it's going to happen but you're always confident at will that he just absolutely bollockses it up who the hell are you heading that to hosh where was that going there's nobody there mate you're a lone striker Sprinting's lost his mind. I mean, I've made all my subs. There's nothing I can do to turn this around at this point. Set through Delacorte further forward, maybe, but. Just let him play his role as he's trained. I mean, that was a good ball to Sergio. It's just Sergio was asleep. Nunez, get to touch. Well done, young man. He keeps doing that and not turning it over. He'll be uh, replacing Nunez before the season's out. Delacorte's in, Delacorte scored his first goal of the season. It's probably just a consolation, but hey, my faith in the youngster, bearing fruit, all of the fruit, delicious fruit bears, what the hell are fruit bears, they're like honey bears, but you know, the fruit. I'm still attacking, which means they're probably going to score again. Juliano with a desperate tackle. Gets the ball, but the dude he tackled was up on his feet first and won the football back. Bogdan's made a save. You left that a little bit late, buddy. Like three goals too late. We are out of legs. Gone very attacking. I don't care if we can see another goal. I mean, I'll, obviously, I'll be super annoyed and want to kill somebody if we can see it again here now that I've gone very attacking. But I'd rather push for another goal. But don't concede again, you pack of morons. It's not that hard. Kills in, kills equalised! Oh my word! Well, let's just leave it. It's 3 all with 4 minutes to play. 
And that's Gill's first goal of the season, so he gets a two. Have a two. Two, two. Excellent stuff. You love to see it. Ah, oh, crap. Why are we giving away free kicks? It's not even turned on. You idiots. And everyone's exhausted, so they're going to score here, aren't they? Clear your lines. Clear your bloody lines. Fogden gets his first. You suck, chat, after this game. I did well. I was just unsure. I mean, dude, you got 7.5. And kudos to Delacorte for putting a rocket up him. The kid comes on, he's like, Oi, I know you lot have given up and don't care, but, you know, how about we try and get something out of this game? So, new method this season, anyone under a 6.5. First fence, we have a little chat. Stop clicking on the wrong thing, DP. I come in, we have a little chat, we go speak about, warm player, criticised last game. Put the arm around him, and we just go, oi. Strikers are feeding off scrap. He's like, alright boss, I hear you, real good. Cool. That's a fence one. Just like this. Criticise last game. Put the arm around. Oi, your goalkeeping sucked. Alright boss, I get it. Second offence will be that, plus... You're going to cop a warning. On a 6.4. Third offence. Chat. Day's wages. So on and so forth until we hit two weeks wages. <sighs> After we hit... A two week fine, I think maybe we do that twice, and if you're still not getting it, you're going down the under 21s for at least a week. That's how we're going to do it. We're in fifth place, five points for three games. It's not ideal. Our first choice players did their best to throw that one away. Had to be bailed out by a bunch of kids. Hey? Eh? Any of that? Let's have a look at one of our heroes. Delacorte, the youngster. He hasn't rocketed up in terms of progress, but that's where he was last September. So, you know, he's, he's improved. He's gotten better, and this is why I want to keep him around. I know he's only a two-star player, but he just scored a goal in the Premier League. There it is. That's a goal right there. That is. Yeah, he did that all by himself. He's grown up. Yes, these guys can all go and play 90 minutes. And keep their fitness up. Sunderland next. It's annoying. We've let Norwich crawl up the table a little bit. Sprints it, crushing it in training. Everybody's been doing pretty well. Peter Bruce, 8.25. I don't think it's it's not enough for him to make it on the list this week. So he's going to miss out on a game. He's doing the right things. 
I mean, I could be ruthless and start criticizing everybody for getting a performance under a seven, but I'm not that crazy. Who spins on? No. 800, yeah, it's fine. It's a chump change, I don't really care. Bruce on the move. No, he's not. Reem doesn't want to go anywhere. Send me an email. It's 215. All right, I think we can sneak one more game in before I've got to call it a night. Kids? Actually, no, let's screw it. Because that'll kick us off with three games for the next stream. And we'll start with Sunderland, which should be a win. He says famous last words, right? Oh, hang on. That was a uh, 21's match report. Ted Bruce, 7.8 rating. Can't praise his last game. But, you know, he had a good game. They want to lay him out to League One. No, he's 22. I want him here. He's going to play. He's going to play the first team. So it's going to go. But yeah, I think we are going to wrap it up there, folks. I know it's only been like an hour and a half. Um, but you know, this is happening. What else? I'm not sure. He's not even my pick. I don't care what happens with him. Terry Osborne, stop training with strength. Alright, yep. Do that and that. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we'll wrap it up. Uh, I have noticed we've dropped a few frames this evening. I don't know when that occurred. That's something for me to keep an eye on in the next stream because drop frames are my mortal enemy. Uh, but again, I hope the tweets have made a difference. I know, like, overall, visually, like, the overlays and everything else are exactly the same. Nothing's changed there, so it might be hard to spot the, the difference. Um, but yeah, I, I hope the visual quality is better. If it is, let me know uh, over on the Discord, or shoot us a, a whisper, or whatever the hell they call them, here on Twitch, or whatever. Drop it in the chat. Right here, live. And let me know. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, let me know how you watch the stream. Do you watch on your phone? Do you watch on the PC? Do you watch it on the telly with Chromecast? Or how do you do it? Help me help you. Because I want to make stuff better. Because I'm a nerd. I want it to be awesome. So we'll leave it there, kids. I'll be back probably tomorrow night where it's scheduled. We might be tweaking the schedule a little bit. I've been talking about it for a while. Uh, I'm probably going to go like night on, night off, night on, night off. Do it that way. I've just got to find the right days uh, to do it. But yeah, when we come back, to the save ye old wizard of oz we'll have sunslam forest we'll get through all these games i think there's an international break in there you know just to make things extra sucker cool um but we'll get through all that and see where we land it'll be fun i look forward to seeing you all then but until next time i shall see you all next time uh say hi to you for me maddie peace